Wagon, a beautiful day for tea and where else to, did it, to do this than on Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. I am Ife Oluwa Oshinke and I'm here with the feminist queen Ife Omai and the egalitarian Nimi Dekombi. Oh my god, you misrude. Oh, I you're not? not <laughs> like you're totally misrude. Feminist and proud. Mm -hmm. Yes. Try to wash it down. As in, like, do not. Why can't you just own it? It's just like saying I'm a all lives matter person. Yeah. There's so, I'm a black there's so lives much matter. like Benny Ark. You guys are insatiable. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I think I'll just stop giving you adjectives. I'll stop adding I like adjectives. It. Let's argue you. about the adjectives. I'm yeah. liking my feminist. And yesterday's one was African something. Mm. Me, my yeah. own. I've, I've, I've forgotten the. No, do, do, the the light about. Delectable. Delectable. I'm like, come on. Delectable come on. is nice. Oh my god. It's nice. She doesn't understand English like that. <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> Anyways, happy International Burgers Day. Yeah, that's right. Burgers Day. You may as well just make it your chit day if you're one of those fit, fit farm peeps. But you know we got you as we got a chef to show you just how to make your homemade burger. The first thing I've done today is to bake the bread and I bake amazing bread, yeah? It's a brown chocolate cocoa spicy bread for you. <laughs> so good. So if you have to make it, no problem. So let's go. So the first thing is make the bread and the second thing is having a beautiful cream. And if you have a very good cream, your burger is 50% way go. And then you have a good mace meat, yeah? So I've started cooking my meat. The techniques of making this burger meat is don't start first on it. Don't press it. It's very important. So I'm going to grill my bread um, I'm gonna try it a little bit uh, for about one or one minute and then to have that beautiful crust and I have those beautiful stuff so I've got tomatoes here I've got lettuce I've got cucumber so and I've got a caramelized onion so this onion is a chopped onion um, a pan sauteed for about 30 minutes and then a pinch of salt a pinch of pepper and then a little bit of salt to give it that lovely taste and then so you can also do that at home so it's um, brilliant but it just takes a little bit of time or you just need to pay attention to it and then if you're going to buy bread outside ensure that you, are tr you trust the bakery and the, the, bread, the bread are very very fresh so that's what I'm going to be doing so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my bread ready and I'm going to pop in the cream on it feel free to add a lot of cream to it nothing makes a good burger without a cream so then I'm going to arrange my tomatoes. I love the tomatoes to be on a layer. It gives my burger that beautiful classic look. Um, then he said, wow, that looks good. So, if you don't have tomatoes, can I make burger? Yes, of course. Come on. Don't be carried away by the activities of, um, I don't have this, I don't have that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our meat. And then we're going to scoop it here. Look at that. My homemade burgers are always, always amazing. So, if you want to do this at home, all you just need to do, give me a call on my numbers. We run a culinary center so I can teach you how to make a beautiful burger like this one. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have my cucumber. So look at that, stay, stay up there. So drop the um, caramelized onion. Well, some people also use, um, if you have um, egg, a sunside of egg will be very, very good. Mushroom also is an alternative. And then I'm going to get my lettuce. And then our bread is here. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in a lot of cream here. And then our burger is ready. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So serving my burger today gonna serve it on a plant with a potato chips like this one it's very simple you can also do plantain chips and then <laughs> isn't that beautiful check it out how to make my beautiful chicken spicy creamy burger Thank you for watching. My name is Chef A. The first thing I've done. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, and um, 
big shout out to Chef Hayes because we have yes. our own package yeah, and maybe we'll just show maybe or maybe not if some people have not <laughs> eaten it with their mind already <laughs> maybe or maybe not we, we might just show you what the burger looks like right after this break but um let's get right into the first story of the day we on Cynthia Moga uh, she's kind of remorseful now she said allow the hurt and pain from past dealings take over my emotions mm -hmm. um I admire this in as much as um, she should have thought of her actions, but I admire the fact that even after she made a mistake, she came out to say, okay, I have had time to reflect and this is what I think I did wrong and mm -hmm. I could have handled things better. But what do you guys think? I agree. Um, she said it really well. I like that she ended up thanking them for their... The, I guess the good part of their relationship, and it's always nice to have that balance. I mean, exactly. it's not she's not saying that they're perfect and that you know she takes she's taking everything back, but she's saying that with everything there's a good and there's a bad side, and I think it takes maturity to be able to see things from mm. that light. That not everything is very straightforward and a hundred percent something. So it's nice that they were able to do that. In regards to the defamation of Jude Okoye, which was the subject matter at hand, that what she's actually like painting him in a really bad light. I think this does enough justice. Because I think both their images are impacted in the same way. I've mentioned this before. I think I'll be very worried if I was an artist. Um, one mm. is designed by Jude, and I think I'll be very worried as an artist manager if I'm going to sign um, Cynthia or either. Mm -hmm. So this makes a, a good balance, and I hope for the best in regards to her. We talked about it before where we suspected that there was drug issues. I think we talked about yeah. the off show. But there were like possible, you know, allegations about her drug issues and things like that. So I'm not, we're not saying that Cynthia is, you know, an, a, an angel. But I'm, she, she sounds intro, like someone that has done a lot of introspection. And there's always good that comes out of that. So I'm mm -hmm. happy for her. I think my biggest take from this story is to always wait for the full picture. Always wait for the full story. Mm -hmm. For a lot of people that already, you know, jumped on the Cynthia Morgan bagon that were already defaming Jude and, you know, insulting him and then the way the whole story Including played, Peter. <laughs> Peter. The way the whole story played um, along the week because the same people that supported her were the same people that dragged her yesterday. All throughout yesterday, Cynthia Morgan was trending. The same people that were shouting, oh my God, I can't believe I donated money. How can I get, <laughs> how can I get my money back from <laughs> GoFundMe? You know, there were a lot of funny reactions. So I'll just say that people need to actually wait to, uh, especially when it comes to situations like this, relationship between artists mm. and their record labels i think mm. we should always wait for the full picture to understand the story properly mm. because even since when this um story started i was already saying that if you look at it critically from jude okoye's perspective he's acting as a businessman yeah mm -hmm. you cannot invest in something and not want to get your money back yeah, it's, but it's the simple was like, mm. but like then at the end of the day the contract came out and it was it was a 50 50 well, no okay so um i yesterday on the show mm. i said that um, it was a fair contract but yeah. i went back i went to read the contract all over again and then this time i opened my legal eyes to mm. see it yeah and um I could I could see the shadiness, you know, there's some underlining claws here and there that are really controlling and doesn't mm. really give her a lot of room. It, it seemed, if it was a normal contract, it would look like an 80-20 kind of contract because mm. if you're saying 360 deal on endorsements, concerts and all of that, come on, that's quite a lot. Mm. And then what Cynthia was actually saying to was true because it's a 50 50 deal but if you're paying 50 million naira for my video i'm to pay back the 25 million first then we'll now still split the returns on the video that's quite a strange and that is why artists need to have what lawyers when they're signing yeah. this contract so at the end of the day what we are taking from this story and i hope that other artists who are young and want to be in the industry mm. if you want to sign with any record label ensure you have a lawyer i don't have money to ensure you have a lawyer it's more important mm. that you have a lawyer during the contract signing than for you to now become a big artist and then you have yeah. to settle all of this or you're losing your name mm. or your that's like my biggest take from this story number one always wait until you have the full picture the bigger picture before you jump on anybody's yeah. sides and for entertainers or for artists make sure you have a lawyer and with then you also when you the, sign uh, the fact that Jude was saying that she he, he couldn't legally take her name was also BS because that's not even her birth name her birth name isn't Cynthia Morgan it's a stage name 
Because when she signed this letter, she didn't use Cynthia Morgan as her real name. Mm -hmm. And then with the lawyer that we spoke to said it is very possible to hold his stage name if you sign somebody under that. So yeah, we saw that with Keys Daniel. Yeah, exactly. He had to change his name. Yeah, so, so. there is a lot of um, controversy around that. But I think we've said everything we need to say on the stage. Yeah, to be to honest. Yeah. All right, but I just admire what Cynthia did because at the end of the day, you need to know when you're wrong and when you've had a solid reflection True. and then you can come back and say that, okay, I was wrong, I was wrong. Now yeah. I'm Not sorry. This is that. Not a lot of people do that. Me. But what if this was just all the attention she needed for a yeah, bounce she back? I, I, you see, I would like to believe that, but I feel like she would have pushed her name a lot further if that was the thing. Because Cynthia Morgan is trending, not... Mada, ma the Madrina. The Madrina. Um, if there was a... Because my worry is that even when she swaps to the Madrina, She'll have to do another PR stunt in regards to that because that to name is honest. not catchy. That name is not pleasant. And people I like, like it, Cynthia, Cynthia, Mo Cynthia Morgan a lot more. So um, I, it's hard for me to believe that. Mm. All right, let's see how it goes. But um, her heart goes out to you, Cynthia Morgan. And um, we just hope you you become who you want to be or who you deserve to be at the end of the day all right so um the next story is on um the presidential advisory committee for the elimination of drug abuse who have warned that any plan or advocacy to legalize the growing of cannabis in nigeria for whatever purpose will be counterproductive because the federal government has been committed to the elimination of the menace of drug abuse in the country. This is off the back of Governor Rotimi Akere Dolu of Ondo State, who advised the federal government to encourage the cultivation of medicinal cannabis, also known as Indian hemp, in the country. Now, Daddy Shoki is saying <laughs> that marijuana should be legalized and it has medicinal purposes and it's not just about the smoking. So what do you guys think? Do you I think, think it's about time that they stop you know, like making it illegal? In a lot of countries, developed countries, they've already, you know, removed the ban in some places, not everywhere. In some developed countries, they've removed the ban off of weed or cannabis. So I feel like the Nigerian government should actually look into it. We need to start diversifying our means of, um, revenue. of revenue. We can't just focus on only oil. I think we should actually go back to agriculture. Whether we like it or not, whether you want to demonize people who sell weed or grow weed or whatever it is you want to do, the truth is it is a big industry. Mm. I feel like it's something that Nigerians can capitalize on. Mm. That's how I feel personally. I'm against, you know, mm. banning it. <laughs> <laughs> um... A lot of countries that or cities, let me make it let me make it cities that have legalized uh, marijuana are very good with policing and managing the drug uh -huh. abuse pandemic. I don't think Nigeria is there, so I'm a bit hesitant in making this very available. I think we have a serious drug problem uh -huh. with um, with Nigeria as a whole. And I would be very scared for us to start to do that on a legal basis. You just see one day that the farm has been cleared overnight by the guns, <laughs> and everyone's going to smoke it in their house. This, and and when, we, when we make the argument of whether or not we want it to be used for drugs, do we even make our drugs, first of all? Um, in America, you can say that, yes, it's for drug because mm. they literally make these drugs. So I'm not seeing how this is going to be promoting anything else other than, other than the drug abuse community, mm. but that's no, just me. Plus, and, and just to jump in on what you said, the truth is, yes, Nigeria already has a drug abuse problem and that's because we don't actually talk about it enough mm -hmm. we always hide and we um actually how do i put it we, we demonize people who have these issues we demonize people who have drug problems or we have de we demonize people who use drugs so even when they have like if they are addicted to it or like or, or some of the vices that you've mentioned we never ever have a platform where we talk about it like we understand where you're coming from it's always demonizing 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 if it is legalized we're going to have which i i personally believe that they would have you know, it would be properly regulated. I want so you're to you're working be backwards. Here. You want to start the start the problem first and then figure out the solution oh, before so you it's make... Not, it's until not really you, Don't you think that you should... You need to do that first before you, like, um, legalize marijuana? Like, why why can't we talk about it now? What's, what's stopping us from talking about now, what it? Now, yeah, I think this what is going to feel? start a conversation on... Talk, um, talking about the discrimination or, or the banning Imagine of, of marijuana. Imagine if your younger brother or people from high school can go and buy marijuana on their own. People already do that. But no, now legally. You have to be because a certain I age. know, I know for a fact that if you're not hanging around with people who, who do drugs, it is hard to get drugs. So what you're telling me now is if you make that legal, I don't need to know anybody. If I have problems at home, I don't need to have bad friends. I can just walk into a store and get marijuana on my own. 
and it's not a country that has been able to manage getting um, selling alcohol, simple alcohol to people mm -hmm. on um, above eighteen. They sell alcohol to, to teenagers. I've seen it live and direct many times in shop rights. Right. So you're already selling that to people. So now a a thick girl or a tall boy that's a, that's a child can go and present himself as an adult and buy marijuana. I'm just so against it. I don't know. Not okay, so I think um, the first step to take when legalizing marijuana, especially for medicinal purposes, is to have licensed dealers that would that you would know it should be regulated so i think before we legalize this it would be regulated there will be a regulatory body to start with hmm. so there will be people there will be proper education there will be people who will be licensed <laughs> where you're cultivating the marijuana will be well guarded and protected so it's not like some hooligans will just be able to jump in do you understand so i feel like it should be regulated and then because if you're thinking about the medicinal use of marijuana, it's actually there. It's even good for cancer. So let's let's get the regulatory body right. We need to look beyond body, just right? devices, part. Of yeah. That people because if we keep doing that, we're picture. never going to move forward. And then we need to see things for their <coughs> beauty. And people should not be arrested and for possessing. To think of it, <laughs> all these other drugs you're talking about are man-made. This was made by Jar himself. But we need to go on a break, and we will be right back, and we'll discuss this behind the scene. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And OAP Tools has been left bewildered after a staff asked her to send all her salary to a church. The OAP said in a tweet that it makes her feel some type of way. It should. It makes me feel very, Makes me very cringe. Very but it doesn't um, because I think it's a regular practice in this part of the world. It's uh, part of the problem of religion. Now, don't, don't think I'm supporting this. Mm. I'm just saying it's part of the problem of religion where people say your first fruits give to the church. Your first fruits give to your What's parents. Like first food now? Your is this a first time stuff? Is this a first no, time? no, I'm just saying like first fruit people. Is like you but another thing. Your entire profit. Another thing I would also like to know is, um, is she doing it for humanitarian purpose? Maybe she's, digging for, it she's giving church. it to her pastor. Yeah, no, to church. Now, there are people, I know about churches now that are giving reliefs to their, to their members because of the whole COVID-19 stuff. So they just call you, they know their members that are struggling at the moment, and they just call you, oh, do you want us to send? And then you send your account number, and then they send some money to you. But the well-to-do, um, congregation members are the ones donating this money. So could this be one of I those think cases? For tools to be concerned about <laughs> it, I don't. She think won't make. She doesn't have the details. She said it's her money and she can do whatever. Don't make this thing I don't look think like it's not. It's something it's, it's not. It's, it's, do you think for um, um, tools will come out to say on Twitter that she's a well to do person? A well to do person. She's concerned she's that a well to do that person that is church. sending money to church. I'm sure she would not raise that concern. Yeah, she would not raise that concern. She's not very well to do. That is why she's why she's making a concern. It isn't about okay. what you're doing with that money. Anyway. I didn't know. Some people say that it is her money. She has the right to do whatever it is she wants. Remember. I have seen For me, I have issues with it. Um, First hand, mm -hmm. where there is... And I remember being really chastised because I said to this person that their pastor is a scammer. Mm -hmm. And they said to me that such and such anointed nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, the only anointed is Jesus Christ. And I'm as anointed as you are. So I have a right to say whatever I want to say about yeah. whoever I want to say it to. This pastor was twisting the words 
mm. of scripture and making it feel like if you don't do this, then you don't love God enough. Or you will not be blessed. Or you would not be blessed. And I have a very big problem yeah. with that. With I find it very issues sick. with that kind of preaching. And it's 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 a scam. It's a scam. It's like why does God need your money in particular to if you are going oh, to yeah. give all your money, all of it, in COVID-19 period, period. you need to question that, that, that pastor, as mm. far as I'm concerned. But <clears throat> it's religion, it's faith, it's thinking. This is, it's this not is really actually about particularly one logic. of the issues I have with religion in Nigeria, Nigeria or in Africa as a whole. Because when you, okay, in some developed countries too, they still have that problem. But like in Nigeria, it's like the fact that we can't even have that conversation we can't mm. talk about it you can't if, for instance if i'm having this conversation with one of my friends they'll be like that it is their choice mm. that they are making that choice but when you're an outsider and you're looking at it critically it doesn't really feel like you have a choice because it feels like if you don't do it mm. there is going to be a punishment yeah. for and doing that and if your that. choice is coming from serious conditioning then you you have to get people to be worried it, it's funny how people take off their caps when it comes to religion yeah. if i was go if i was going to say adamantly that i want to stay with my boyfriend who's beating and have a black eye the black how dare you? I'm saying it's my choice. It's what I want. Mm -hmm. But then if I say that something is happening in your church that I find a bit toxic, then they say like, oh, um, mm. no. Touch not my anointing. Yes, and it's, it's our, our, our belief. Faith, it's our what belief. we believe. It's I mean, like, I, don't, I can't speak for the person in the sense well, that this is the only, opinion, that is the only um, source of income that they have. It could be that this person has multiple sources, um, um, streams of income or whatever. But if that isn't the case, then I find it, that this is hard for me not to believe that it's some type of like manipulation True. and brainwashing going on. That's True. just my thoughts. In my opinion, people and their choices, but um, our time flies when we're having fun. But it's time to go. But remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arthur TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co-uncle if I or my and Nimi they can be for their amazing contributions and the entire production team I am a follower Oshinkaya saying thank you for watching and stay safe. <laughs>